ground as it relates to audio, as an audio term, is important to realize that what we're really talking about here is a reference point. Now, why is that important? Audio, if we think of it as a series of sine waves, has an upper half and a lower half. You should be seeing a graphic at about this point that shows that reciprocating. That black line down the middle is ground. Without ground and a really stable ground that's perfect, you don't get perfect audio. It's really that simple. As, as we start expanding into the more sophisticated realms of things, it's super critical for digital. Digital requires a perfect ground uh, and, and then all kinds of isolation mechanisms to work off of that perfect ground. So in a, in a, a simplest sense, what audio ground gives you is that stable, perfect reference that music or film sound right, revolves around. It's either going up or going down, up or down, and ground is the, the, the middle of the teeter-totter, if you will. It goes up to the top half of the waveform, down to the bottom. And that's why it's so important to have a good stable reference ground. One of the things we work really hard on, on all of the, the, the units that have high level input, is a great ground. You'll notice that all of those have a real three-prong connection. That's because often we're the only thing in the system that is really giving you a good ground. And in many cases, the way that we will teach you to connect them on other videos is to give your system a really good solid ground. Everything improves when you do that. So that's the importance of ground. It's really a critical component, if you will. Component's the wrong term, but a really critical element in making great sound. If you don't have good ground, it's really hard to make good bass. And if you can't make good bass, you really can't have everything that pushes up from the, the bass on upward.